Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel Microsoft Office Learning. Today's video is quite important because I'm going to discuss with you the pivot table, the use of pivot table. I will discuss the pivot table in four parts, purpose of pivot table, how to apply pivot table on data, how to refresh or add new rows in data, limitation of pivot table. So stay tuned and watch till the end. First of all, I will discuss the purpose of pivot table. The purpose of pivot table is to get inside of data very quickly. It provides you the analytics of your raw data with no time. You can easily inside your data. Second is how to apply pivot table. For example, I have this data. This is, the, this is a product description, deliveries, invoices, revenue, and all the details mentioned. If I want to apply pivot table on this data, I will place the cursor anywhere within the data and go to insert tab. And there is a left side pivot table option. Click on this, a window will pop up. Either I can create the pivot table on the same sheet or I can create the pivot table on the new worksheet. So I recommend to create a pivot table on new sheet. If I click OK, now you can see a new sheet, a new worksheet has been added. So this is a basic layout of the pivot table. So you can change its view. You can change this window view from its setting. Click on this. It is on first setting now. You can select the second option. Click on this. You can see the all the fields are visible now. The, on the first option, you can't see all these fields, but this second view is more better view than the any other view. So you can change its setting. Now uh, you can play with your data. For example, if I want to see the products according to the location we want to see the revenue of the products according to the location so what i will do i will move this field if you want to move just click and drag in this row you can see now on this side it will display me the product descriptions so if any field you want to move just click on this and move any of these these boxes so if I want to see the product description according to a location, so what I will do, I will first drag this product description in rows and then I will drag the customer location in columns box. Now you can see this is the layout which I want. Now I want to see the revenue, revenue of these product according to these locations. So what I will do, I will select this revenue column and drag in the values column. You can see it's giving me the sum of the revenue. If you click on this, it's showing me the another window. If I go to the value field setting, so you can apply the different formula in this value box. Either you can sum the value, count the value, average, max, minimum, product. There are many formula you can use. I want to have the sum of the values according to product and the location. So I'm okay with that. Press OK. So it's giving me the sum of the values of the product according to their locations. I can sort this numerical figure if I just right click on here and you can see the sort button. I, I want to sort larger to smallest. I want to see from the figure from the largest to smallest. Click on this one so you can see it has sorted the data according to my choice. So next thing is that you can further drill down the data if you want to have more deep inside of your data. For example, if I want to see the del deliveries in front of the products as well. So in from here, I select the shipping method and I'll drop in the row box. Now you can see it's showing me the breakup of the direct and the indirect deliveries as well so this is a, another drill down service in the pivot table so for example if i want to change the layout i don't like this layout of this pivot table if i want to change its layout so what i will do i will go to the design tab go to the design tab so if i want to show the subtotals under each product so I will select first option is subtotal, click on this. So second option is show all subtotal at the bottom of the group. If I click on this, now you can see it's showing me the refrigerator subtotal here, microwave subtotal, and all the product subtotal at the bottom. You can unselect this option anytime, 
do not show subtotals so second thing if i want if i want these these deliveries direct and indirect deliveries i want to display them in front of my product so how can i do this i'll go to again design tab there is there is a report layout option there is a third option tabular form if i click on this now you can see my layout has been changed my deliveries are in front of my products so this is a more good display more good presentation of your data next thing is this, is this i can see these blank cells here i don't like these blank cells if i want to fill these blank cells with the above product description so again in a design tab there is a report layout there is a second last option repeat all items label if i click on this now you can see the all the blank cells have been filled another thing is that if i don't like these buttons so what i can do i can go to the analyze tab and on the right hand side there is a second last option buttons if i click on this so now you can see the buttons have been removed from here another thing is that if you want to hide this window this pivot table fields window you can also hide this there is a field list if we click on this so it will hide so if i want to display it again click on this so it will display again or you can move these columns according to your choice for example if i want the manchester column should be displayed at the end of the data so what i'll do you can see the cursor if so i'll just drag this column from here to here so it will show me at the end this is the way you can change the layout so another thing is that you can filter your data there is a there is a window of the filter in this in this window if i move the shipping method field to here now you can see the pivot table will provide me the filter at the top of the data if i click on this it's showing me the direct and the indirect deliveries if i want to see only direct deliveries so if i click click on the direct and press ok now it will only show the deliveries which are the direct in these location according to the product description if i want to see undirect just select the undirect if i want to see the all then just select all so press ok so it will show me this is a, another good feature you can quickly access your data with this filter option okay so now next thing is refresh of your data for example you change in your data source if i go back to this if i change here if i change this revenue three four five press enter now okay so i change the value now how can i reflect this change in my pivot table so i'll go to the analyze tab there's a refresh option click refresh all click on this now you can see all the values have been changed now another thing is if you add a new row in your data if i go back here at the end if i add some new row for example and add its revenue this row will not be reflected in my data so what i need to do i go to the analyze tab change data source click change data source and now i need to select need to incorporate this row just press shift and go down so it will select the range press ok if you want to avoid this tab then what you need to do you need to create a table press ctrl t and press ok when the table has been applied on your data you no need to go and change your data source it will automatically incorporate a new rows in your data all you need to do is just need to refresh the data from going to the analyze tab so these are the things so the last thing is limitation of your data so in our data we have discussed how to apply how to refresh it last thing is limitation of your table limitation of pivot table is that data should be properly organized there should not be any spaces within your data just make sure there's no space in your pivot table 
sorry pivot table data and there is no subtotal in your data and it must have the heading so these are the limitations of pivot table hit the like button if you like this video and make sure to subscribe my channel if you want to watch more tips and tricks so leave that comment if this video helped so i'll see you guys in next video